GMAuthority.com is back at it today with an exciting set of new spy shots for you. That's right, our spies have just caught the 2023 Silverado HD refresh undergoing testing with less camo than all of the other prototypes we've seen ever before. And as a result, these new spy shots give us the ability to see new details about the refresh truck, details then again we've never seen in the past. So let's dig right in. So as you can see, unlike all of the other prototypes that we've seen in the past, this 2023 Silverado HD does not have roughly half of the camo at the front end. And what does that let us see? Well, it lets us see the grill and some of the other surface styling elements at the front. So let's start off with the front end. As you can tell, the front end here features roughly half of the camo uh, that all of the previous 2023 Silverado HD prototypes that we've seen. And as a result, we get our first really good look at the, uh, at the grill. So the grill design features a new central cross member that's positioned in line with the redesigned headlamps. So what does that mean? Well, it means one thing, and it really kind of is a big deal. What this means is that the 2023 Silverado HD refresh, it is moving away from the somewhat controversial front fascia treatment of the 2020, 2021, and 2022 Silverado HDs. And we can tell all of this by looking at the alignment of the Chevy bow tie with the headlamps. Now, the 2020, 21, and 2022 Silverado HDs, they had kind of a strange, to some, a strange looking front fascia because the grill cross member was aligned with a different set of headlamps, kind of a different element of the headlamps rather. Whereas the 2023 refresh, well, now the bow tie and the primary grill cross member are on top of each other and that will end up being aligned with yet a different set of headlamps or a different part of the headlamps, if you will. So the headlamps are getting redesigned and the configuration of the front grille is also getting redesigned. So overall, the front fascia is gonna have an entirely new look and it seems to be doing away with the controversial kind of partially accepted, partially not really accepted front end of the 2021 20, and 22 models. And as you can tell by looking at these shots, the Chevy bow tie is not visible at the front end of uh, these prototypes. Instead, it is masked with black tape, uh, but we all know what's really hiding under there. And just above that Chevy bow tie is what? It is that kind of small feature, but also a big one. It's that huge intake that is located at the front end of the hood, at the center of the hood, uh, just above the grill and again, right at the beginning of the hood. So that is a functional intake. It's been there uh, really for a few years now, ever since the uh, refresh of the K2 models came about. And uh, it is very much functional and it's gonna continue being here for the 2023 Silverado HD. And I should also note that the model that we are looking at here, uh, it's not exactly clear, but it looks like we're looking at the high country. That's the range topping trim level of the Silverado range, whether it's Silverado light duty slash 1500 or Silverado heavy duty 2500 HD and 3500 HD. The high country is the range topping trim level. And it looks like this is what we're looking at here. Now I say this because all of the non high country trims, they all have the Chevrolet script written across the grill. Whereas the high country, well, that features the Chevy bow tie rather than the Chevrolet script on the grill. And so that's what we have here on this prototype, even though the bow tie is masked by black tape. And if we look really closely at the front fascia treatment, specifically the lower end of the front fascia, it looks like it features more chiseled styling, uh, specifically kind of the front bumper area. And that's gonna replace the somewhat soft and kind of formless design of the 2021 and 22 Silverado HD. Moving on around to the rear of the truck, 
uh, we do see a whole bunch of vinyl camo still on the prototypes but what we do expect at gmauthority.com is that uh, the overall changes to the rear will be significantly fewer than the changes to the front end. There will likely be a set of revised tail lamps, if that, and uh, probably a revised chimsel, that is the centrally high mounted stop lamp uh, located at the rearmost part of the cab, at the top of the cab there. And while we didn't get shots of the interior, we fully expect the 2023 Silverado HD refresh to introduce cabin updates that mimic those seen in the updated Silverado 1500. So what does that mean? We expect a new interior for LT, LTZ and high country models. Uh, so that is a strategy that mimics uh, what was introduced with the 2022 Silverado 1500 refresh. Meanwhile, the sub LT models, so that is work truck and custom, uh, we expect these two trims to continue with the same interior as the 2020, 2021, and 2022 Silverado HD. So let's recap what we have thus far. We have a new front end, some minor changes are possibly coming in for the rear, uh, big changes to the interior and all new interior for LT and above models, and even bigger updates to what's under the hood. What do I mean by that? Well, two things. First, updates to the 6.6 Duramax V8, and two, updates to the transmission that's mated to the 6.6 V8 gasoline engine. So on the Duramax side, the 6.6 liter Duramax V8 is expected to get a significant update as far as power and more importantly, torque are concerned. As GMAuthority.com was first to report earlier this year, output for the big boy Duramax engine is expected to reach as high as 505 horsepower and, get this, 1,085 pound-feet of torque. Those are quite healthy improvements from the current output figures, which are 445 horsepower and 910 pound-feet of torque. And as far as the gasoline 6.6 is concerned, that engine is expected to stay the same as far as output goes, so that's 401 horsepower and 464 pound-feet of torque, but we expect it to replace the six-speed automatic transmission uh, that's made it to it currently with a 10 speed in its place. All right, now let's talk timing. The 2022 Silverado 1500, so light duty truck, the refresh of that model uh, was revealed last month in September, and the first units are gonna start rolling off the line in Q1 of 2022. First quarter, 2022, January, February, March, first quarter right there, so within that time frame. As far as the 2023 Silverado HD refresh is concerned, that is likely going to come just about a year after the light duties. So currently we're looking at roughly 10 months between the reveal of the light duty to the heavy duty. I'm sure you can do the math there. Now there were some rumors about this Silverado HD refresh uh, launching for the 2024 model year and not for the 2023 model year. I'll have some comments about that. So uh, as far as we know, as of right now, it's October 19th, 2021, uh, the Silverado HD refresh, the T1 Silverado HD refresh is on track for the 2023 model year. However, all kinds of things can happen between now and when this truck is supposed to, to be released. And so things like COVID, things like the ongoing semiconductor shortage, and all kinds of other disruptions in the supply chain in general, besides semiconductors, all of that could delay the launch of this truck. Nevertheless, as of right now, we're looking and we're, we're expecting this truck to launch for 2023, not for 2024. And so there you have it, 2023 Silverado HD, this is our best look yet at the updated model. For GMAuthority.com, I'm Alex Luft, over and out.